Today's video is sponsored by Flexi Spot. Let's get straight to it. How do I get down? All right, you guys, welcome to another video. Today, we're gonna be reviewing my new 2023, like midway through the year, my new desk setup. This is my setup that, you know, really helps me be productive and get things done throughout the day. Let's go ahead and get straight into it. So first things first, the real reason why I wanted to change my setup is because a messy desk setup and a cluttered desk setup is an easy way to get off task and not stay focused. So studies show that, you know, having a clear, Minimal desk setup is actually a great way to boost your productivity. So that's one major reason why I really wanted to redo my desk setup. And shout out to the sponsor of today's video, FlexiSpot. Um, they sent me over this brand new desk behind me and we're gonna dive deep into some of the reasons why this desk is so much better than my last one and the reason why I would recommend it for some of you guys. So as a full-time photographer, I really wanna make sure things like my laptop things like my monitor and any other thing that's sitting on my desk, I wanna make sure that it's well taken care of, that it's not in danger of tipping over, or falling over, or anything of that sort. So I had to make sure that I got a very sturdy desk and as you guys can tell by the intro, this desk is very much sturdy. So these legs are actually made of carbon steel, which means they're super, super sturdy. Just in case um, you're raising this desk up or you're lowering it down and it hits something, this desk actually comes with anti-collision, which is something that my previous desk didn't have. So one of the major benefits of having a standing desk are the increase in posture and the increase in productivity. So having a desk setup that allows you to sit and also stand helps to keep your blood flowing. Um, I love to take care of myself. I love to go to the gym. I love personal fitness. So making sure that I'm not sitting down all day and I'm able to get up and sit down while working from home or while working at the desk really helps with my productivity and my overall health. As some of you other photographers and videographers may know, sitting down at a desk for a long time is an easy way to get back pain, especially with what we do. Holding these heavy cameras, you know, for multiple hours throughout the day, it can really put a big tax on our back. So having a desk set up that allows you to stand and sit down really eases out some of that back pain. I don't like to sit down all the time, but you know, it just comes with the career. But now that my desk is standing, I find that some of that back pain is subdued. So I really appreciate that. Shout out to FlexiSpot for making this desk so easy to set up. It came in about three boxes. Uh, the main desktop, which I got in white because I wanted to give my apartment and my desk setup that really airy feel. And I was able to put this desk up the same day with a couple tools. And so for the setup process, there wasn't really too many things in my way. Um, I actually enjoy putting these things together. I'm kind of like a going handyman myself. So I actually enjoy putting this desk together. They've also included a YouTube video with instructions if you want to check out just in case you're a visual learner. For cable management, shout out to FlexiSpot. They actually sent me out an additional cable management tray under this desk, which you can slide and tuck your extra cables into. What I did to make this setup super simple and super seamless, I ran everything that needs power into that one cord and I ran that one cord straight into the wall. It helps give you that peace of mind knowing that a whole bunch of cords aren't going up and down and you don't have to worry about anything on your desk tipping over or falling over. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I have on my desk setup and show you guys the different tools that I use to help make sure that I'm as productive as I need to be. First things first, I have the Eve Spectrum as my monitor of choice. This is the anti-glare version because I work next to such a large window. This helps make sure that I have no reflections on the screen. And to power this monitor, I have my MacBook Pro 2019 Intel version. I'm gonna upgrade to the M1 version sometime soon, but for right now, this Intel version gets everything done that I need to. And after that, I have my Logitech MX Master mouse. I love this mouse because it has so many different buttons that you can configure it and customize it to, to make editing super quick and super seamless. I have my Logitech MX Master Wireless Key Mini. One great feature that I really love about this keyboard is the fact that it lights up. It can actually sense when your hands are about to come close to the keyboard and the keys will light up. And once you take your hands away, the lights will turn off, which I really love. Right over here, I have my Samsung Galaxy tablet. Huge tablets, great for consuming media. I pretty much just use this to consume YouTube content. And right here, you know, as a photographer, videographer, we have to have our hard drive. So I like to use the SanDisk Extreme SSD for a lot of my travel jobs. These ones are really, really rugged. 
They're really durable and they're super fast, so you never have to worry about losing any footage or any photos while using these. Last but not least, I just have an iPhone stand if I wanna be on a call while I'm at my desk working. And then as far as SD card reader, I use a ProGrade SD card reader. Whenever I'm importing photos or footage onto my desktop, this is what I use. And last but not least, I like to use a Wacom tablet for all my retouching needs. If you guys wanna find out a way to improve the quality of your retouching or speed up the process, I highly recommend a Wacom tablet. I'll also link the model that I use in the description below so you guys can check that out. If you guys wanna purchase anything I've mentioned in this video, make sure you guys check out that link in the description below. If not, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh, we're gonna try something crazy. Let's see.